welcome bitches one and all to my reaction to season four episode three of the vampire diaries the rager now last time we dealt with a new vampire hunter who has entered town by the name of connor which not gonna lie i'm still not over the fact that he's called connor but yeah he had a tattoo up his arm that only jeremy could see so again interesting i wonder what his past is what his story is why he's here how he knows about the council vampires themselves very interesting so yes anyway with that said very excited to get into it and see where the story for the season goes so without further ado let's go huh i mean i assume tyler's not actually sleeping do vampires have to sleep i've never confirmed that i'm not sure I mean, I assume he just made him pass out and not actually killed him. Oh, okay. Fuck. Huh? Vervain? Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Is that like his venom? Well, I mean, they've got a sample of a hybrid. He's going to find some way to kill him then, I assume. My God, this man's like... They're like scientifically researching vampires, which is very interesting. Good day for midlife crisis. 164 years, I'd say you're due. <laughs> well, Lena's transition to vampire has been a little depressing. Where you going? That hunter Jack Tyler Lockwood was werewolf venom last night. So basically, he's got vampire poison in a bottle. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. That didn't even process to me. Whoever Lena doesn't choose leaves. That was before she turned. And I stayed to help. If I take you punching me as the first clue, I'm not wanted here anymore. Listen, you blood shared with my girlfriend, and I punched you in the face. You deserved it. I don't know how I feel about all of this. I'm I I agree that I don't like the Damon did the bloodshed thing. Like I don't know if it was the only thing they could have done in that scenario, but I don't know. I, I would have appreciated him explaining to her further what Stefan would think of this because Damon knew that Stefan wouldn't like this, and so I th that part of it I don't quite like. But I get that he was just trying to help her. But obviously we don't want Damon to leave town. That's a definite no-no. However, I'm not really sure what to do about all of this because, of course, it's going to be hurtful for Damon seeing Elena and Stefan together. But then again, like, I don't know. I know that last time and the time before I was saying that I like... I've liked seeing Stefan and Elena together again because it's been cute, but Stefan's just been really off recently. He's been really, like, bitter. Don't know if that's the right word. I feel like bitter does describe what I'm trying to say, but he just seems a little bit... He's annoying me a bit, to be honest. He's frustrating me with how he's behaving, but I get if he's being jealous and territorial towards Damon because of Elena, but I don't know. I don't know. I just... I'm not appreciating their dynamic right now, and if Damon needs to leave for that to change, then okay, but we'll see. Thank you for doing this. I can't keep anything else down. It's okay. I kind of uh, believe my life, remember? Yeah, but I didn't make stuff and save your life so that I could turn you into a human blood bag. Elena, let me do this for you. Aww. So this is like a continued thing. Why is she not drinking for blood bags? Are they low in stock? Oh, because she can't keep anything else down. Yeah, yeah. So for some reason, it's only fresh from the tap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well done. Good for letting go. Is that enough? She's really good at control. Hiding at home would be more suspicious. Besides, I want to be here. It's my senior year. I survived this long. There's no way I'm bailing before graduation. What are we going to do after this season? We're not going to be in Mystic Falls anymore, are we? Are they going to go to uni? More deputies? Not exactly. Oh. I had hoped to leave Mystic Falls for good, but duty calls. Nice to know you care. I don't. Yeah, why is he? But you hybrids are a dying breed. I can't make more of you, and I won't have anyone taking liberties with the ones I have left. Consider them your new bodyguards. Are they hybrids as well, then? Because surely you're just putting more of them in danger. First time we've been back in a lark's classroom. First period, and I'm ready to bawl my eyes out. Morning, Aww. everyone. Huh? Just like that, I'm no longer... Huh? <laughs> She's the teacher? Oh, okay, sorry. I'm I'm what's known as an idiot and a forgetful little bastard. I forgot that she was a classmate. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? She's the teacher? Oh, history's my favorite class. Actually, where is Mr. Saltzman? Rebecca Doan. <laughs> Careful? 
Now Elena's got blood on her fucking shirt. I hate her. I didn't think I was capable of hate, but I hate her, and I hate that I hate her. Aw. That's the hunter. Shit. Elena, you got to turn around quick, love. You'll see the blood. Fine, Heather. I'm not. What's wrong, Elena? Getting hungry? Rebecca, what is your problem? How inconvenient for you. <laughs> See you in gym. Rebecca, you bitch. You and your sister have been through quite a lot. What are you, a social worker? Why do you care? Because you saw this. Here we go. What's the history of that? Big deal. No, I call this a hunter's mark. It's invisible to anyone but another hunter or a potential hunter. Ah. I'll train you. Teach you how to do what I do. I'm on Hudson off Route 13. Don't show up unless you find me. Well, how am I supposed to do that? Why don't you start by asking your friend with a bandage on his neck? What decides this? Is it just life circumstance? Like... Jeremy's been through enough as a human and been through certain things that make him viable to become one, like a certain mentality, or is it genetics? That's very interesting though. So it seems to be some kind of actual society of vampire hunters. They seem to be an actual organization because it's a hunter's mark. It can only be seen by fellow vampire hunters. So they must be an actual thing, which very exciting to explore. <laughs> Fuck. Well, yeah, what did you expect? You've just gone into his house. Is that a... Is that a, um, thingy? Like, it'll explode if he takes it out. And, and then do what? Ignore her to death? Look, she's trying to make herself feel better. She yeah. knows that everybody hates her, so she's trying to hate harder. Yep. <laughs> Good read, Stefan. Damn. I just have to go home and change first. What are we doing about Damon, though? Like, does Damon have a phone on him that he can call people? She needs to come to terms with it, confront it, let it in before she can let it go. You're good at this, you know that? You yeah. You saved my vampire life, now you're saving hers. You should write a book. Go on The View. <laughs> he is quite good at it, you can't deny that. Live through experience. So this is where you've been hiding, huh? Ah. Haley? Hey, Lock Wolf. <laughs> Right, the only reason I recognize her is one, um, what's it called? H2O, just add water, obviously, iconic. But two, that is the face of the person that, do you remember when I said that, um, when I, I remember when I first started the show, I saw like a poster or some kind of cover art for the originals. I, I think it's three originals. I don't think it was for the Vampire Diaries. And, um, I remember two girls on it and one of them was Rebecca and I thought that the other one was a fellow original but in going through the show obviously I've discovered that Rebecca is the only female original so I've been like who was that other girl I saw and it's her so I'm very excited to see who she is Tyler obviously knows her a werewolf perhaps a hybrid I thought class killed you I assume she I is a um I assume she's a hybrid then. I talked to you every turn. I helped you break the sire bond. You could have told me your own oh, story. I didn't want okay. anybody to follow me back. Werewolves weren't safe around Klaus, and you shouldn't be here either. So she's a normal werewolf, and she's the one who helped him, okay? Well, the least you could do is pour me some fancy rich people scotch. <laughs> and the fact that I've seen her on cover art, I assume she's um staying around for a while. Why were you being so cryptic? Come in, close the door. Why were you being so cryptic? Meredith, could you not see the arrows? <laughs> You're not going to get hurt. All I need you to do is be doctorly, cut out the arrow. I'd do it myself, but if I move... <sighs> okay, what does he mean a greater evil is coming? That's what I'm saying. Who the fuck is on their way? I'm a bad brother. You're strong oh, enough to okay. a bomb while Stefan plays vampire with the girl who broke your heart. But you are doing a very good job of acting like it doesn't suck. It would fucking suck. <laughs> Yowza. Okay, so it's only if you pulled it that it would have gone off. So I'm having a little party. You should uh, ditch last period and come. Rebecca, the problem is, love, it seems as though you do genuinely like Matt. I don't know if you like him in that way, but you do like him. But the problem is, he is very good friends with Elena, who you are being an absolute horrible bitch to. So I don't see him liking you anytime soon. I'm sorry. Look, I know you're still angry. I ran you off the bridge, but you have to understand, I like killed my brother. I forgot she ran him off the bridge as well. I never wanted to hurt you. Yeah, it didn't process to me that, of course, he was in the car that Rebecca ran off the bridge as well. And all of this has resulted in Elena being a vampire, like. Uh-oh. Who you letting feed on you? Tell me which one of your high school friends has a blood sucker. Rebecca. 
it's Rebecca. I thought he would. Rebecca Michelson. And then when you wake up, she'll be long gone. He's gonna smash his head. Fucking hell, mate. This guy seems to have no regard for human life as well. <laughs> you keep alcohol in your underwear drawer? <laughs> no. If you were looking for alcohol, were you? Do you think I'd actually leave the last remaining white oak steak where any vampire could walk in and take it? Elena. Are you staying for the show or? I'm finding that steak. You got a vampire for me? No, but I know where you can find one. Interesting. She uses vampire blood in surgery. I think she has a deal with one. That's the problem. When a town protects one vampire, word spreads, more come, they feed, they turn. Soon you got a full on infestation. It's so interesting hearing this guy talk about them as if they are a literal like animal infestation and he's the one taking them out. It's just such an interesting perspective to have. But yeah, back to what Jeremy's doing. Obviously, Damon has spoken with Jeremy. They've had a conversation. So is he sort of like lying lining this guy up to fall into damon's trap is that what is that what's going on here as long as people are drinking at that high school party i got it covered they'll be dead by sundown huh oh is he like oh fuck is he put um what am i trying to say is he put tyler's venom in the drink supply wow we didn't have to be invited in i wonder who used to live here well, yeah here. yeah that's a that, ugh. fixating no i'm just quietly Hating. Quietly hating. <laughs> April's here. I'm gonna go say hi. And I am gonna find something a little stronger than beer. Okay. What are we exploring with this April girl? Like, what is her story gonna be? You're a new face. Oh. And I take it from your accent, you're an old one. Class. My reputation precedes me. Hopefully not all bad. A little bad. Mostly repulsive. <laughs> so you're a friend of Tyler's. That's strange. He's never mentioned you. I'd rather hang with you. Does Tyler not want Caroline to meet this girl? Because that's suspicious, mate. Not gonna lie to you. And I think I know why. I don't think either girl knows about the other one, which is awkward. How are you doing with everything? Trudging through my denial phase. Dreaming up conspiracy theories. Like what? You don't think that it was an accident? I know there's no investigation that everyone's calling it an accident. With the shooting at the church, it just feels like... It's like something wicked this way comes. I know, right? Back off, Rebecca. Why don't you go look around the house and I'll find you in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. The way Nina's so good. It's like silent rage. <laughs> and then you have the nerve to drink my beer. Oh, no. My ring. You bitch. Give it back. Get it yourself. No. <gasps> Actually, fuck you, Rebecca. Like, Rebecca, have you not done enough? <laughs> Jesus Christ. She is going to set Elena over the edge. <gasps> oh, that's like, that's like the vibe of getting caught by your parent doing something dodgy. <laughs> Oh, that was oh. Elena just got caught with her pants down there. It'll feel really good for about ten seconds, and then after that, tens and thousands of vampires all over the world will start to die. Every yeah. vampire she ever turned will die. That's a lot of people. See, rage is a really powerful feeling, but it blocks the mind. But guilt, <sighs> take it from me. Not fun. It'll destroy you. You can either go after her, or you can get on the back of my motorcycle. Then we can get the hell out of here. Hell yeah. Leaving so soon? Not just yet. I never got a drink. Well, shit. They've all just been poisoned. Yeah. What the hell? Uh oh. Interesting that it can affect originals as well. I just thought about it. Imagine if um these vampire hunters get wind of the whole kill an original, kill their entire line thing. Because once they do... They will be out in full force to take these originals down. There you met a pack of werewolves, begged them for help. Among them was a girl. Emotions ran high, inhibitions ran low. Stop it. Did they? Did you? Much more real. Did you cheat on Caroline? Stop. Come on, be honest. And Caroline has no idea. Tyler, I know you will have heightened drives and relaxed inhibitions, but come on now. Is there anything I can do? I'm going after the vampire hunter, so if you'd like to join. He wouldn't. But I would. I, however. <laughs> Hell yeah. Interesting duo, Damon and Klaus. Go around 
I am scared she's gonna lose balance though. That's her. Stay here. What are you gonna do to Meredith? You better not hurt her, bro. But this all seems like a trick, so I wonder if Damon and Klaus are in here as a way to lure this guy in. She's interesting that he hasn't taken into consideration that Jeremy might have been compelled to lure him here. <laughs> Your own little invention against you, bro. Hello, mate. Feels like I love you. Go on, guys. I mean, like, yeah, all well and good, but you've been poisoned. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to kick in at this point. No. <coughs> okay? That's awkward. That's very awkward. Stefan. Okay. It's beginning. Demon said the hunter had werewolf in him. Oh bad. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's not the white oak stick, so it can't kill me. I'm surprised you came to my party. Would it still affect her though? Would it still like would it just clear out of her system or would it if she would not get a cure would it be a lifelong thing that it would just make her a vegetable or weak like what would this be truth is rebecca i think you're amazing but a bitch you've had a thousand years to learn <gasps> to grow and to start fresh and you haven't and somehow you've managed to throw it all away <laughs> get her mad the reason you don't find love is because you don't deserve it right matt <laughs> I was about to say, I hope she's hallucinating. Holy fuck. What do you know? Maybe you can cue me in on this greater evil because I fought this guy and there's nothing more evil than that. Yeah, truth be told, I'm as evil as it gets. I'm not telling you anything. Careful revealing too much about Klaus. Disappearing tattoos. Now he knows Jeremy's on that side. What do you mean tattoos? No bother, you can't see the damn thing. Does Klaus know something? There's more to you than meets the eye, isn't there? Ooh. Tell us. Uh, nice try, but I'm faster than your average vampire. Ah. Tell us, Klaus, for fuck's sake. You're Is he gonna pull it? One of the You're five. I'm faster than your average hunter. Is he gonna pull it and run? But he was still attached to the other one. But he was, he had two arrows in him. Unless he pulled them at the same time and then legged it, but that was a quick explosion. But interesting, one of the five. So is this like an order of vampire hunters where like you have number one, two, three, four, and five, and then they're like replaced over time. So like if one dies, then that's why he's talking to Jeremy because if one of them dies, he can bring Jeremy into the fold and he could become number three, you know? Very interesting. Why am I thinking about you? Because you're a vampire now. And part of you knows you're a lot more like me than you are like him. Oh no, is she gonna say some things? What's wrong, man? She has werewolf venom in her system. No, you're the only one that can heal her, Klaus, please. What does he get in return? If you had told me a few hours ago, I wouldn't have cared a lick about her dying, as it turns out. Why does hearing about the five change his opinion on Elena? Maybe of use to me after all. Huh? <sighs> yes. But why? I'm confused. Um... Picking up trash is a hell of a lot better than sitting at home alone thinking about the family you no longer have. Rebecca can relate to that. I could help you look into what happened with the fire at your farmhouse. But are you going to be able to do that? I can't be surprised. <laughs> well, that's nice. She's making a friend. So the sniper was inside? Yep. Still is. In tiny little pieces. So he died. Interesting. I can't say I approve of your methods. <laughs> I'll make a donation. They named a wing after me, Mayor. <laughs> Interesting yeah, that you said I'm quicker than your average hunter, though. Badasses like, don't say that. Doc! What's going on there? You know you're not going anywhere, Damon. And I am not your new partner in vampire crime. Fix things with Stefan and Elena. Don't let your pride leave you all alone. She's got a good point. It's just, it's easy to put it down to pride. Like, if any of us were in this scenario, and the person that you loved chose your brother over you, you wouldn't want to stick around, you know? You changed. And Elena, she's changing too. And I want her to be able to enjoy it without all the guilt and shame that I went through. And there was a moment today when she did. Yeah. And when I'm with her, every bone in my body tells me to join her. But I know that if I do, even a little, I risk becoming him. That's so fucked that he can't even enjoy life without risking it. Like, ugh. And I don't want to hold her back. Yeah. It's a very hard thing to think about when you love someone. Like, is it, is me being with them 
causing them to not be able to live their life to the fullest because if so do you love them enough to let them go that's i believe what stefan's thinking about right now and it's a tough call i would say that if you genuinely think that even though you love her even though you know that she loves you if you genuinely think that you are holding her back and it's being a hindrance on your relationship then it might it might be the only way out to let her go you're so good at it at being a vampire because of you i'm good at it because of you i love you caroline i know i say it all the time but come on come to me whenever you want and i won't let you lose control oh terrible thoughts these violent images and i it's all driven by one simple thing this hunger hunger uh-oh i don't like the way that this is going i'm scared for matt Elena. i mean she was bound to lose Elena control hurts. at some point Elena! Stop! Matt, I'm sorry. Forget what just happened. You came over, she fed a little bit, and you left. Now go home. Good, Damon. It's not worth the trauma that Elena would have to go through. You are a vampire now. You just have to learn the right way to be one. And I'm gonna teach you. Very big of Damon. No matter how you see him as a person, even if you don't like him, like, to put your pride aside and to put your love for her aside, yeah, that just processed to me. How's he alive? You see? Congratulations. You just became worth more to me alive than dead. Why? Who are the five? What did you mean when you said I was one of the five? He doesn't know? You don't know your own history. Huh. Well, let's just say it's made you the most well-protected vampire hunter in town. Because Klaus is going to protect him? But why? Oh, this whole hunter storyline so... It, like, I'm really excited to find out about it, but it's so confusing. Like, I don't understand. I really want to get into the history. I really want to find out about who the five are and why they're of importance to Klaus. So, yes, there we have season four, episode three. I believe it's episode three <laughs> of The Vampire Diaries. And I'm really looking forward to where this season's going because obviously we're still dealing with the effects of Elena turning into a vampire. I feel like that's going to be a running theme throughout the whole season as we're dealing with her relationships and her within herself changing and morphing into who she'll be because I suppose I'd never I, I've thought about it obviously but when you actually look at Caroline and how different she is from being a human to being a vampire and you associate that with Elena it's crazy it is I'm very very excited isn't the right word I'm more so just interested as to who she will become what parts of her personality will change and what she what part of what she wants will change because yes you may take it that human elena did truly pick stefan but does that mean that vampire elena picked stefan because they are in a in a sense two separate people they have different wants different needs like if you take elena's wants of a human they were all about growing old having a family and being with Stefan and just having a good life. Whereas now that she's turned into a vampire, her wants would have changed. What she wants out of life, who she wants out of life would have changed. So I guess we'll wait and see. But I will say, like I said last episode, I do hope that by the end of this season, Elena makes her decision as to who she wants and she sticks with it. Because I'm not... <laughs> I'm not bored of the storyline. Don't get me wrong. No part of me is ever bored watching The Vampire Diaries. I look forward to it every week. It's an amazing show. But I will. I just, I get frustrated with, and yes, I know people don't like when I call it a love triangle because it isn't your normal love triangle. It's not like very silly storytelling. It's well written and it's extremely complicated, but I don't know another word to describe their situation. So that's why I call it a love triangle, but I'm getting kind of, annoyed that it's still going on in season four that we still have this who will she pick because it's just i would appreciate getting to a point where elena picks who she wants to be with and that's that we just move on with the rest of the story and we find other things to explore other people's relationships to explore because it's just when you continue the same storyline over and over and over and i get it's not the same storyline because circumstances change all the time but it is at its core level the same thing of elena who is she gonna pick I just want to get past that and I want to move on to other things. But yes, anyway, with that little run over, 
let's move on to patreon questions because i'm excited to see what you guys thought about the episode right first up why do you think damon keeps involving meredith it's funny that you asked that because i'd forgotten about it but i literally had that exact thought in the episode when damon went over to talk to meredith after the explosion and all that because it feels like damon even if he doesn't want to admit it it might be subconscious it feels like he's searching for friends because alaric was his only friend and sadly he has died he does consider stefan a friend and a brother but obviously their relationship is very strained right now itself so i don't know if he calls him a friend right now so he's kind of alone so the reason i think he keeps going to meredith herself is because she's linked to alaric alaric liked her so in damon's mind she would be the one that he would try and be friends with if not just because she has a link to alaric but because they would have a similar vibe because obviously if alaric likes her there's a higher likelihood that damon would like her over everyone else if you get what i mean that's why i think he keeps going there for the link to alaric and because he thinks that they could be good friends whether they will be i don't know they seem to have very differing opinions on the world and differing opinions on how to handle situations but most of the people in damon's life also feel that way and they're still in his life so who knows it could work out and she obviously is a vampire lover compared to people on the council and all that who absolutely hate vampires so she's a good enough human as any to have as your friend so we'll see we'll see where their relationship goes but they could be good friends in the future now next up what is your take on elena's hallucination in this episode i don't know the way that i see it is it's what i've been saying since season four episode one that i don't think that elena has made her full decision if she has, then that was a decision she made as a human being. She has changed a lot as a vampire. She's still changing. For all we know, Damon might be better suited for her now. And something that was said in the hallucination that I found interesting was that Damon can help her in ways that Stefan can't because her and Damon are similar than she would want to admit, which I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I need more time with Elena as a vampire to see if I agree with that sentence, to see if I agree that Vampire Elena and Vampire Damon are more fitted for each other than Stefan. Because I don't think we've had enough time to fully explore them as people. But it's definitely a possibility. It's definitely something that would change her opinion on who she would want to be with. So I am open to seeing where it goes. Now, next up and finally, do you see any similarities or differences between her hallucination in this episode and what Damon was hallucinating back in season two while he was dying from the werewolf bite? Interesting. I can't remember that off the top of my head. So let's go and have a look. So I've just finished watching them and I don't know. I don't know how I feel because the only similarity I could find was that obviously it was all behind Stefan's back and it was about not telling Stefan. But Damon's was more so linked to his past with Catherine and that fogging his mind, whereas Elena's is more linked to her feelings for Damon now and how she feels for him. But it was also very interesting to go back to the finale of season two and to see Elena's feelings for Damon because we haven't seen that for a long time and it's bringing up a lot of like old thoughts that I had towards them. So it's more so just got me intrigued to see where they go for the rest of the season because don't like i don't have a preference i still i've never had a preference as to who elena ends up with she could end up with damon stefan or neither of them i don't mind i just i want her to find what suits her best which in the past as a human i towards the end i did more so lean towards stefan just because i thought that that's more so what human elena wanted but now that she's a vampire I don't know if that's true anymore. I don't know if that's who Elena wants to be with. So I'm very excited to find out the answer to that question. But yes, anyway, there we have it. That was episode three, another fucking fantastic one. I'm extremely excited to explore this whole, what did Klaus call it? Like the five and to see what influence that has on the rest of the season, because it implies that there are five vampire hunters, but this guy didn't know. Like Klaus said, you don't even know your own history. So is it like five families, five bloodlines of specific vampire hunters? And what makes them vampire hunters? What makes them more suited to take vampires out than regular human beings? Is it just a name given to them because they know, like the council? It's just like something that's given to them because they know about vampires, but they don't have any specific abilities to take them down? Or are they in some way better suited to take them down? Like, are they physically immune to compulsion? Are they immune to dying 
by vampire bites? Have they got the vein running through their bloodstream? Like, what's going on here? Why are they specifically vampire hunters? And what's this tattoo? Is it some kind of magical element? Do they have protection? Like, I'm just really excited to get into that whole storyline. But yes, anyway, with that said, thank you very much for watching. I've left a link down below to my Patreon. We'll be able to find the early and uncut reactions to the Vampire Diaries and all the other shows that I do. I've also left a link to my Twitch, my Discord, and my socials. So be sure to follow them if you are interested. And Jess, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.